What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. As many of you know, the big story in the National Hockey League right now is the Las Vegas Golden Knights. To quote Elvis Presley, the king, Viva Las Vegas, uh, as they're 7-1 and one and are doing things no expansion team um, you know, has done in terms of being this good through eight games. I mean, usually they're floundering. And, you know, there's another team in the Southwest that's playing more like an expansion team than them. No disrespect to that horrible team in, in Arizona. Um, but anyway... There, you know, it's not all roses in Vegas. You know, it's it's tough to have everything go your way when you're in Las Vegas. Kind of, kind of play the law of averages. Uh, and one thing that's not working out like the way the Golden Knights thought it would was is the signing of Vlad, uh, Vladimir Chibichev, uh, who is now essentially on his way out of Vegas. This, you know, it's easy with hockey and Russian players to blame the blame the player. You know, the Russians always do this shit. Well, you know what? I think he went in to the Vegas situation, expecting something a little bit different, and I think the Vegas uh, brass didn't think they were going to be this good, so that kind of, you know, spewed things, and I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, um, I, I just think, like, he's, he's earned it, um, you know, because, again, his track record is so great everywhere else, it's a tough lineup to crack, which I think he figured an expansion team would be the first line center to open. And that hasn't been the case. Um, obviously, you know, if he was a North American player, he'd take his lumps and go to the minors. He's also 30 fucking years old. Like, let's not pretend he's, you know, some kid right out of, you know, right new to North America right out of the draft. Like, he's he's been in the KHL for a decade, and, you know, things work a certain way over there. And, and then culturally, you know, he signed up thinking it was going to be different in Las Vegas. I don't think there's any guilty party here. Um, again, I just think it, it's one of those marriages that's going to work out. Um, you know, as I go into my doctor film mode, you know, we've all been in those relationships where two good people, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work out the way you thought it would going into it, and that's fine, it's, it's not a knock on either person, um, so again, I think that, you know, that him and his agent are pursuing a trade, I think he ends up either in Florida or Columbus, he had some really good chemistry in the past with the Donov and KHL, and, uh, some really good chemistry, uh, at the international level with, uh, Artemi Panarin, so, you know, let's, we'll see what happens on that front, again, I, I just think there's, there are plenty of options for him, and I think, he, I think he can play. I like his game. I liked him when he's in the KHL, and I don't think he's... I don't think he's acting like as much of a prima donna as he's getting... as the hits he's taking would, would suggest. He also played with Panarin and uh, St. Petersburg. I forgot to point that out. So, again, I think there's chemistry with two really good... That's fun. I mean, in Panarin's case, really good. To Donov's case, he kind of is what he is. Um... So, we'll see what happens, but again, I think he will be in either Columbus or Sunrise, Florida um, in the coming weeks. But, you know, I, I if you're going to sit around and play the blame game point fingers with the situation, I think you're wasting your time. I think, you know, you got to look at it, um, the totality of the situation. I think both sides thought it was going to be different going in. Um, I, again, I don't think Vegas thought they were going to be this good, and I think that was kind of the thing with thing, and like he'd be getting that NHL, you know, top six power play ice time. So, you know, three games on the show, one goal for the, the you know, prize free agent signing out of the K. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Again, I think he's um, you know, definitely a talented, talented player. And uh, I wish him the best. I think, he, you know, if he's given a, a clean slate in Florida or Columbus, somewhere like that, um, you know, little things will fall in place. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.